Today in art class, you're going to be starting your Zen Tangles. Your substitute has these pages, and what you're going to do is you're going to just roll a dice to find where you are. So, for example, if I'm the first kid, I'm Johnny, I roll the dice and I roll a three. One, two, three. So that's my slot. Then Susie is next. She rolls the dice and she rolls a four. So the next one is one, two, three, four. Four, so that's now Susie's spot, and then Harry rolls a two, one, two more, so that's how you get your random spot. Once you have your random spot, go on to a computer. You're going to try to find one of these files. What you're going to do is you're going to open up a file system. You're going to go into your shared drive. When you open the shared drive, you're going to see a whole bunch of different files. But if you look close, you'll see some of them are schools. And this is our school. You're a student, so you're going into students. It says Mr. Ewart right there. Let's go into Ewart Visual Art. So in there we go. If you were the lion, you go here. If you were Michael Jackson, you go here. So let's say I'm part of the lion group. Well, I notice here I've got a piece of the lion. That's because we have a really big JPEG and we're doing that so that you get one big piece to do. So let's say I am, uh, let's see, let's say I'm Amy and Amy got this one right here as you can see. So she takes a look at it, she's four down from the top. So she's gonna go and scroll over, she's now in the top corner of the picture. One, two, three, four, and that appears, whoops, not quite, that appears to match Amy's right there. It looks the same. So now she centers it, and then she goes File, Print, and sends it to the color printer. When she gets it back, she's going to take a fine-tipped Sharpie pen, such as these ones here, and she's going to fill it in. She's got dark here, and then light on the outside. Now, if she's filling out dark and light, let's say here's an example let's say that this was the dark part in my picture I'm going to fill it in with a Zentangle pattern that is very dark much more black than light and then the lighter parts I'm going to fill in just with lines where they are designs that are lines now if you're not sure about ideas for what you can do you can always look up Zentangles online and find crazy amounts of different types of patterns that you can try if you recall I had shown you a poster last day that showed tons of different ones, but just go on Google and put Zentangle patterns. You'll find more than you can imagine. Chances are there will be some blank ones. If there are any left over, let's say maybe uh, Maya really enjoys the project, takes it home, gets done, wants to do a second one, inevitably a few of you will want to, then they can sign up for another block. Once we have all of them done, We'll cut them out from our papers, fit them together like a puzzle, and have some pretty giant, awesome artwork for the hallway.